right, so this thing says point Q is the midpoint of the segment joining C and S, find the coordinates of S. I originally thought that I didn't do this, set this up right, but um, I did because I want you to find S, which is the end point. So you have the midpoint in this situation. So the midpoint is negative two, negative seven. We have this one point and we're trying to find this missing point, which we're gonna call X, Y. All right, so now the midpoint formula between these two would be negative two plus X over two and four plus Y over two. All right, this thing right here would need to equal uh, negative two. And then this right here would need to equal negative seven. So there's two equations to do this problem. So I had to think about it. So this is a confusing one. So negative two plus X over two equals negative two. Put that over one, you cross multiply. Negative two plus X equals negative four plus two plus two. Uh, so X equals negative two. And the same deal for the Y, which I have in green right there. So it's going to be four plus Y over two equals negative seven. Put that over one. It's going to be uh, four plus Y equals negative 14. It's going to be Y equals negative 18. All right, so there is uh, the coordinates. So it would be negative two, negative 18. All right, that's what it's at. That's a complicated problem. So maybe try that one again. Um, after you're done, erase everything and try it again. See if you can it a second time. All right, then this last one is another distance question. Um, so distance when you have three coordinates is the same deal as if you have two. Um, you just have to put all three in there. So square root of negative six minus negative two over square root of five. It doesn't matter how complex the coordinates are. It still works the same. One third minus seven eighths squared plus six minus negative four squared. So that whole thing has 25, but I'm going to be super careful when I do this. So I make sure that I get it all in there correctly. So square root of six minus uh, square root of two is on top, five is on the bottom, parentheses squared. Let's make sure that that's right. I forgot it right here. There we go. Make sure you stay underneath the radical for this stuff. So that's plus, and then we've got one third minus seven eighths, so a couple more fractions. Okay. So one third minus. Ten point three eight zero. Didn't tell what to round to, so for right now we're still using our hundredth rule. So ten point three eight. 